International pressure to bring an end to the raging conflict between Israel and Hamas militants mounted on Sunday, even as local health officials said an Israeli airstrike in Gaza overnight killed more than two dozen people, the single deadliest attack of the current hostilities. In all the overnight airstrikes, 33 people died, including 12 women and 8 children, and 50 people were wounded, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry in Gaza. The ministry said the figures could rise, as rescue workers continue to search for victims and survivors in the ruins. On Sunday morning, rescue workers combed through the rubble of three buildings flattened in the Israeli airstrike, as the hostilities between Israelis and Palestinians escalated to levels not seen since a 2014 war. With the conflict stretching into its seventh straight day, the United States stepped up its diplomatic engagement, and the United Nations Security Council was scheduled to meet to discuss the conflict for the first time on Sunday. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel vowed late Saturday to continue striking Gaza until we reach our targets, suggesting a prolonged assault on the coastal territory, even as casualties rose on both sides. In separate calls on Saturday, President Biden conferred with Mr. Netanyahu.